Hey, what up, guys? Sub here, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Dream. Now, this is a series where I help all you YouTubers with your goals, your tips. I give you guys advice and my experiences to help you guys live your dreams today and become the most successful YouTuber you can possibly be. That's the goal, that's the dream. So in today's episode, we are going to be talking about shoutouts. Now, I know a lot of us can relate to this. I've actually had the privilege to be on both sides of the spectrum in terms of shoutouts. When I first started YouTube, I would be the one always asking for a shoutout, always commenting on people's videos, asking for a shoutout, tweeting them, Facebooking them, all that good stuff, asking them for a shoutout. And now I'm grateful to be on the other side of the spectrum where People send me a request to give them a shout out. They tweet me, they Facebook me, they inbox me, they YouTube message me, they comment and they email me. They do all of this asking for a shout out. So it's really cool to be on both sides of the spectrum and I really feel like I can relate to a lot of you guys because I was once the dude who did that. Now, this is the thing about shout outs, right? I used to do it, I used to ask all these random people and I feel like if you guys do it, it's very common, it's very possible. You ask your favorite YouTuber for a shout out, you want that shout out, because a shout out can do work for you, man. If you can get a shout out or a dual com with somebody or they can share their video, it can really help you get some subscribers that you never thought you would get in, 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 in a very short amount of time. So, the key to shout outs, the key to getting your video shared is, I'll tell you this straight up, is not for asking someone repeatedly and just begging them for a shout out. That's not gonna happen. That's honestly not gonna happen. You know, I had to learn the hard way. When I did that, I would never get a shout out. I would never have somebody share my video. It was just really, really hard for that to happen. And you know, they they remember stuff like that. So that is something I definitely uh, try. I say try staying away from because you're just it's just not, it's most likely not going to happen. But don't lose fear, dude. There's a way. There's a way that you can get uh, your video shared. You can actually get a shout out. You can even maybe get a dual com, something we've always wanted or a video with another youtuber and the way to do that is build a friendship with the other person and that's the best way to do it man you know when you when you want to talk to your favorite youtuber or a youtuber in general don't don't have the sole purpose of getting a shout out actually try talking to them man ask them a question about what they do ask them stuff like that make them engage with you man in, in, in terms of you know maybe playing a video game with you getting closer maybe getting that follow from them in which you can talk to them about personal matters or just matters about a video game or life in general the more you talk to them the more you interact with the youtuber the more they start to get a custom at them on skype man maybe get a call sometime make a big group chat and get, get Get in that group chat too and then slowly I'm telling you I'm really telling you this is so true because here's a here's a true story man I know a lot of youtubers in my genre of uh, video games in which I play which is sports but I really I just know of them but recently uh, we made a Skype Skype chat and we all added each other man youtubers ranging from 500 subscribers to having over 200,000 subscribers man we made the group chat and slowly by slowly after calls and chats and calls and chats and all night calls and all night chats and hours of chats and crazy stuff going on we are so close now we are literally friends I've shared so many of their videos they've shared so many of my videos I like theirs they like mine you build a community you build friendship so that is what I recommend to you guys man my first shout out dude I actually ended up adding the friend on Skype on Twitter we talked a little bit about the NBA we, we got closer and then he noticed my videos he saw that I was working hard he saw that I had a lot of commitment dedication something you guys need and once he saw that and noticed that even though we weren't the closest of friends he did respect my dedication he did respect my work ethic and he gave me a like he gave me a shout out so even if you don't become the best of friends with them as long as they know who you are and they could see that you're working hard and you're putting work in you're, you're gonna get a like you're gonna get a thumbs up you're gonna get something man you're gonna get a share maybe even a follow or a favor but it is something it's a step my friends so the number one thing to do is be consistent show that you have what it takes to become the best youtuber you can be be you know be confident in your work and don't be uh, don't be a beggar don't be a beggar be a be a friend 
It's better to be a friend than a beggar because the friend will have the leverage over the beggar. So that's what I have to say. That is my few cents to everybody watching this video. I'm speaking from straight up experience on this one, man. It really is the truth. I hope you guys enjoy. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Maybe you guys have different opinions. I love to hear and I love to learn. I will see you guys with another episode of The Dream very soon. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I will see you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened, what happened to being your brother's keeper? Now